Greetings, everybody. LVW coming with another episode of Family Derpcraft with me. <laughs> um, this is on my Let's Play part of the uh, series. And let's see. Uh, our first episode, we kind of set up shot over here in this little uh, peninsula-type area. And explored a little bit. Found a couple of spawners and a few other things. And then the next episode, uh, I showed you some of my derpy fights. And this one I figured, well, we must well start laying out the foundation for the keep. Because at this point, I can't do much more with the top part of this land without knowing about where the keep is going to be. Um, so I have outlined a basic idea of the size of this thing. Uh, I cleared off a lot of the land, and I decided I'm going to put the keep up on this section. Granted, it's a little closer to the ocean, and realistically, you probably wouldn't really go there because... You know, ships shooting at it and whatever. Um, it'd probably be better inland. So anyway, this is this is my base location, and uh, the only permanent building that is up at this time is this mob spawner test that I was working on here, and um, the top portion of it is is all done and completed and decorated and stuff. Uh, almost all this other stuff is all still just temporary, including all the other little farms and stuff I was, um, testing out and everything else that's all in the ground and everything like that. And, of course, that's a traditional, uh, mob breeder kind of thing and uh, nothing fancy fancy there. All right, so let's, um, let's get this foundation outline so I can have an idea about where this build will go. Because uh, I, I, I got to get an iron farm up and running. I want to create an old style working iron farm. Uh, anything more fancy than that, I'm not going to worry about at this time. Um, I know there's a couple of new designs out, but uh, I'm going to stick with an old traditional that, that works. Everybody's done it before, so I'm not going to do that on on, on uh, video. All right, so let's get um, let's get this outline. The um, uh, build from the um, let me get the book again. Uh, was that uh, this is from Mojang, uh, the Minecraft Medieval Fortress Exploded Builds? Okay, basically has the keep as approximately uh, 22 by 22, uh, the primary section being 16 by 16, with the um, towers on the outside extending actually beyond 22. It looks like an additional. Another six, so it'd be what, maybe 28 blocks, so almost like a 32 by 32 section. Um, now, I'm going to not build this uh, probably the normal way you would expect it. I'm going to build it from the inside out. In other words, I'm going to build the rooms and then, of course, build the outside. And all I'm going to do right now is just basically get the outline of the box. And I've already kind of roughed it out with torches here. So the get out of the way, Mr. P, go, go. Okay, um, so we're going to outline basically a box, you know, 22 by 22. So, uh, here goes. Let's dig up the land. Oh, that block, that block. So that's the first corner. Oh, by the way, this top area that I'm standing on right now, this is Y level 72, and that's where I want the floor to be. Uh, take these torches out. Take them out, take them out. Okay, that's the next corner. Let's go over to, obviously I'm going to have to build up the land just a little bit, but it's not a big deal. We'll deal with it when it comes to time. Take those torches out. Block, block, block. That's that corner. And uh, this corner. Block, block, and block. Oh, well, that was kind of derpy of me. I actually had to dig into the ground. Okay, there we go. All right, so that's the basic corners of the keep. I mean, not really large per se. Chances are it's probably going to get bigger. Uh, I'm going to go have to go out that way. Uh, so this would technically then be the center location right here. Okay. So the center of, of the keep. Probably should use different blocks for that for now. And let's actually use those. Okay, let's change these out then. There. 
and these are just going to be marker blocks. I'm going to uh, fill in these walls and stuff. I'm sorry about the alarm, guys. And uh, I'll be right back. Alrighty. Cool. All right, everybody, we're kind of back. Uh, I got the foundation laid out. Uh, this is the size of the foundation according to the book. Unfortunately, after I laid it down and gave it a really good look and I got thinking about what all I want to add into this, um, this is the wrong size. Uh, for what I have planned, it's going to be extremely cramped and actually I'm not going to be able to fit everything in. Therefore, I'm going bigger. Now, what's the saying? If you're not going to go big, go home. Well, <laughs> I'm essentially going to be doubling what you see here. So I, I had to um, spend some time in, a, in a, a creative world to kind of get down the actual size of what the foundation and stuff is going to be. Because it's just, uh, um, it's just not big enough. <laughs> go figure. I mean, the build itself is nice. But they have planned is nice and stuff, but not for the ideas and changes I would wanted to see in it a little bit, or at least the stuff I wanted to include. And I kind of pre-marked out everything. So essentially, this corner right here is actually going to start here. All right, and there's some other markers I have for some other things. The middle section, which you see there, which actually is going to have an odd number that way, is actually here. And the other end is right here in this set of torches. And this little T section of torches right here marks the now the the actual layout for this one is going is is essentially forty-four blocks by thirty-nine blocks square, not including uh the towers and parapets and all that other stuff I'm probably gonna be putting into it. So therefore this T section here has one odd block because of where I'm gonna put a uh three wide uh, staircase slash hallway which is why it's an odd number not versus the even number that goes along that route all right so let's um let's lay down the new foundation shall we and get to uh, get rolling on this all right where are we here uh, uh give me these are blocks of back oop no I don't need the grass blocks the grass blocks can stay here and let's re-outline this. Uh, give me this. All right. Now, the new corners of the castle are here. Like I said, that's a different feature that's going to be, uh, I will be working to add in. Uh, let's put a torch there. Now, of course, all the other walls and stuff are going to have to be moved. I can stay there actually. That's going to mark the two center line I want. And let's get this out of here. Actually, all this is probably going to get removed eventually. Ooh. Come on. Give me my torch. Stop being derpy on me. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to terraform all of this land. Um, Right, okay. There. That's the next corner. So, if we take a quick look at this. Actually, I'm probably going to let those blocks there because most of this floor is going to be this floor anyway. So, it goes from that corner all the way over there, all the way over to that corner there. Big. Probably not as big as it could be, but it's bigger than what was originally planned. Uh, torch, blocks, where are you? You must be underground, probably underground. Yeah, it's underground. I thought I lit this up. Apparently not. Oh, no, I didn't. Only partially lit it up. I had, that's right. I'll have to come back in there and fix that. Okay. There's also another secondary ravine I broke into, I think, over this way, just underneath the ocean like area that I have to light up and tear out and hopefully get that fixed so 
my spawn rates increase better. And of course, I gotta finish torching up all of this stuff around me yet. I still actually got areas to explore yet. All right, so I'm at the T section now, right? So let's mark off this T section, which goes here. Alrighty, then. And there it is. Okay. Okay. And there's the third coin. Ooh. Either he came from somewhere else or he came out of the hole. I can't see him coming out of that hole. But we'll kill him anyway. Bye. Nice knowing you. Well, look, and he left us a tater. Okay. I must have grabbed the sex week. Alrighty. Now. All this work just to lay out a foundation. Now, as you can tell, this dip right here is definitely going to be a slight issue. So I will have to be terraforming all of this into a nice section of land that hopefully will slope down nice down into that little, um, is it a cove? It's more like a cove, I think, right? Because it goes out to the ocean here. Let's double check to make sure here. And, or is it a pond? No, it actually has a small outlet right there. So technically, it's a cove. It's not a pond. Or at least that's my understanding, anyway. All right. Let's get back to this outlining real quick. If I can place a block, I have to move the torch. Let's put the torch on that side. Stop placing torches. And did I actually, I don't think I actually marked out this edge over here, did I? No, it's okay. Not a problem. So uh, anyway, uh, news coming out soon is that um, 1.12 official release will be coming soon uh, we are still playing on the snapshots with this world uh, I know that was kind of chancy in itself uh, but it's what we wanted to do we wanted to definitely be ready and kind of already in to the whole 112 thing that's why we chose to do this uh, so probably as this project progresses, because I'm probably going to do each room as a separate episode, uh, we will officially get into the 1.12 official release. I know I keep saying official, uh, but they get closer and closer uh, as they fix more bugs and stuff like that. We've had a few bugs. We had a few crashes here and there. Uh, I know when we initially started, it, the game actually created two save files for Duchess, which has kind of given us a bit of an issue. So uh, that's not really a big deal. We just we can handle that. There. Okay. This is the new box for the keep part of this, and it's huge. Possibly better being where it is now than what I originally had planned over there in the corner of those two like mountain like things. Um, now, the thing also keep in mind that a castle would not normally be built this close to the ocean without walls going up. I'm not going to be putting walls uh, initially here anyway. But this is Minecraft, so we don't have to be perfect. Alrighty. Uh, okay, so. Here is our initial box foundation. There we go. Let's move on to the next thing. All right, everybody, here we are. And the floor is now in place. As you can tell, it is going to be massive. Um, this is actually taking over 12 stacks of stone bricks just to cover the floor alone. So just to give you an idea of how big it is. Once again, the actual dimensions are... 44 by 39 just a square box alone all right what i'm going to do now is i'm going to outline the corner tower part section so what we're going to do is um, i need some of my stone bricks i'm going to get the foundation in uh, give me some stone bricks okay 
So we're going to count over four from the corner. So we'll get one, two, three, four. Okay. That's one wall of the tower. Same thing here. One, two, three, four. And that's that section of the tower. Then we're going to have two blocks on a diagonal, three blocks, then one block diagonal, another block diagonal, similar to, come on, get up there, similar to this, diagonal, diagonal, okay, and then from here, we're going to have that next set of three blocks on the outside here, okay, oh, I can't get up there, let me get over here. So this is going to be the ring of the corner tower. All right. So it goes two blocks straight out from the wall, counting four in. Angle block, angle block, twice. Three blocks straight. Angle, angle, three blocks, angle, angle, and then again back to two blocks. And then of course, we'll build that up as we go up that way. Uh, now the thing about what I'm doing here let me uh, just get the floor in place. Okay. The uh, brick changes here for, for what I have planned. Okay. The wall here, this is going to be the wall here. And it's going to come out here. And let's do the same thing over here. I'll show you. So we're going to have a wall here and here. All right. But what I'm going to do is this will be regular stone brick going up. Now, I also want to mention that um, I'm going to be just using regular stone brick throughout the entire build. I will bring in other blocks to, quote, dirty it up, unquote, however you want to say it, later on after everything is built. Uh, for me, that's usually one of my biggest challenges is actually coming in and having to, to um, dirty up a build. Only because of the way my mind works. I like nice, clean builds. So for me to come back in and dirty it up is, is the challenge for me. Now, these corner sections here, it's, it's the best way I can describe it. We're, we're kind of rounds it a little bit. We're actually going to make it nether brick. This is why you got all that netherrack cooked up. And uh, so that's going to give us is that red, dark red, burgundy. It's more like burgundy, really. Uh, accent that goes all the way up the whole length of the, t of the tower, which is going to go up to... Uh, to the top of the parapets and stuff like that. Alrighty, guys. So that is going to be on each of the four corners. All right. So I want to get that into place. Alrighty. Alrighty, everybody. Here we are. I got uh, all four of the turret bases in place all around. So this is basically the basic layout of what the keep is going to look like. There's a couple other little things, details, protrusions, stuff out. I, you know, I get to edit as I build up and stuff like that. But this is it. As you can see, it's uh, pretty much double the original size that I was going to build. Uh, of course, I already did say that. Now, um, we have the basic floor plan in place. And the uh, next episode, we will actually begin working on the first room, which will be in this corner here. And that's going to be what I call the war room. All right. So uh, that'll be your next episode. And I just wanted to say, as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. I really appreciate it. And don't forget, you all take care of yourselves. Bye.